You're listening to Ramel London. I have the great joy of speaking to one of the chosen ones, a title given to him by Kiss DJ Pioneer. He was knighted Mr. 2010 by the king of Funky House, Deneo. And although I hate feet, I love Mr. Foot. It's producer Footsteps. How are you today? I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. That was a very nice intro. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I try, I try. I, I, re I researched you, of course. Of course. <laughs> so, um, first of all, let me get this out of the way because, you know, I mentioned the feet business. I really don't like feet. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But why, why, why are you called Footsteps? Because, you know, it's, oh, it's it so goes, strange it name. Goes, it goes so far back. Basically, long story short, in my first year of secondary school, I was size, I think, 11 or 10. How old was you? It's like, it's first year, that's like 12, isn't it? Is it 12? Oh, my God. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> so, a lot of friends called me Bigfoot, and Foot for sure, or you got big footsteps, and then, literally from then, that's, everyone calls me Footsteps, or Foot for short. Oh. I didn't choose this name. Everyone thinks I, I picked it like it's really clever or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is, it is. Like, you know, the whole footprints in the sand kind of thing, you know. It's very spiritual, very. Oh, that's a good way to look at it. Okay, good, I will. Okay. <laughs> so your your name is Footsteps, as we know, and um, yeah. what do you want us to hear when you hear this name? Okay, well, that's a nice one. Um, what do I want you to hear? Or think I want of. You to think, I want you to think of great music. I want you to think. I want you to think of like everything that I represent. You know, like good music, quality music, often played. Do you know what I mean? Just think of everything that I've done. Like, think of me, <laughs> pretty much. That's nice, that's nice. Okay, so it, it took a while for us to, to know about, like, see Footsteps as the face, because you always use your amazing logo. It's like a kind, yeah. kind of cartoon animation Footsteps guy. And yeah. um, so are you working on more of a brand or as a man, yeah. as a producer? Personally, kind of I am, obviously I am human, before everyone thinks I'm a robot. <laughs> um, like, I, I am human. The reason why I use my cartoon character more is because I feel after looking at a lot of mixtapes and people it's like everyone keeps putting their face on things and I wanted to do something different instead of just kept on showing my face and no one really caring like it's not like a hood thing so everyone can see me that posted up somewhere like mm. I want to have a nice little relaxed type of view to my music so there's my cartoon character <laughs> you know what I mean that's cool like, nice and relaxed it yeah and a lot of people think I'm a group for some reason just to clear up there is no there's no one else I do everything myself I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> He's an independent guy. Yeah, I keep getting emails like, oh, where's the rest of you? There's no one else. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. So um, I want to know about the man behind the music. Because would you... I've, I've noticed in a lot of your songs, they're very... um, How might I put it? Uh, like, seductive. <laughs> like, you've got this kind of like hopeless romantic thing going on. Like, okay, let me just name a few, like... Tell me what you want, like <laughs> from AL or follow me. Hold on, uh, okay. that's all I need. <laughs> okay. Or or one more, green light. That means go, right? Go for yeah, it. That does. <laughs> that does. Um, you know what? I never really thought of that. Maybe subconsciously, I'm just I'm a true romancer at heart. Who knows? I I don't know. Maybe. I do not know. Because oh, okay. um, at the moment, I've done a lot of songwriting and stuff, and it seems that a lot of you know, girls and everything else seems to be coming up in my, in my songwriting. I don't know. Okay. I really don't know. Maybe deep down I'm in love with someone I don't know yet. Who knows? Maybe. <laughs> you know? Maybe. Okay. So you, like you said, you're always making new songs and working with yeah. amazing people. And like you've re yeah. recently worked with a good few, good few people like in the funky house mm. scene and like R&B, everything, grime, everything. So is Pretty there much. anyone in particular or just like you can be as far fetched as you want anyone you can bring people back from the dead who would you love to work with who would i love to work with okay to be brutally honest i think not like a proper funky soulful track but something a bit soft but skippy just like soulful house i would love to have marvin gay on it i think that would sound wow. beautiful like i think that'd be a very powerful song like just letting him do his thing i won't even write his lyrics i just let him do his little high pitch stuff for a while in it and if i could work with someone else production wise i'll put pharrell on as well for his chords and his percussion. Wow. And obviously me producing as well. That tune would be absolutely amazing. That would be it. That would be the song. 
<laughs> wow. I think I actually tried to catch you out with that question, but you answered it so perfectly. <laughs> like, what can I do? <laughs> I just got to keep on going. <laughs> So as I mentioned before, you was considered a chosen one amongst some of like really current successful funky house and like UK funky artists, producers and DJs as well. So yep. and just to name a few like AL, Shea Soul, Nadia Solomon, Swindle, Funky Steps, yep. MC Va- Va- I can't even say his name. Versatile. MC Versatile, yes, that's the one. And the <laughs> list goes on. And um specifically as a producer, was it good to like stand out amongst that crowd and like get the it recognition? Was. It is fantastic. I, like, I got a, love, a lot of love for Pioneer because of that. And um, funny enough, being at that place, that's what um, made me bring on the whole little campaign of uh, Mr. Yeah, was a DJ and producer. Mm. Because I think it's about time that we start getting like, strong recognition for what we're doing. It's great that it weren't just a bunch of artists talking amongst each other, not caring about people that are behind the scenes and stuff. Yeah. Like, it felt good to be there because we worked just as hard as everyone else, so it's only right. 